Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We are so excited to bring you all the action here on EA Sports tonight. Schlemko's one of those guys that our cameras will be keeping close tabs on here tonight. His name is up on the board in the opposition's dressing room. He's a player they will key on trying to stop. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. This has been one we've been waiting for for a while, and it's time to finally see what the payoff is all about. And now it's grabbed by Lewis. The Bulldogs take over on possession. Takes that pass back at the point. Loose puck battle along the boards. Picked off. Tried to be too cute on the pass. Shot. Oh, and another big stop. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. Baltimore has won the draw. Slides the puck over to Kunitz. From one end of the blue line to the other. Let's it fly. Off the crossbar. My goodness, what a shot. Thunderous use of the body on the play. Picked up along the boards by Kunitz. That goes off the stick. Sharp reaction save. Morose brings it in. Here's a chance. Quick shot, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Birmingham's got the puck along the wall. Moves it around along the half wall. Puck exits the zone. Birmingham's got it in their own zone. Sends it over to Kennedy. Carries it in. Big play inside the defensive zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Puts the puck on net. Misses just up and over. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes control of the puck. Keeps hold of the puck. Big save. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. The Bulls take possession off the faceoff. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. From the neutral zone now. On the attack along the boards. Right in front of the net. And they can't convert to the play. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. They've got the defense outnumbered. Moves the puck along the half wall. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Takes it across the blue line. Shot, and that one stopped. Dickinson's won a big draw on their own end. Here's a chance to set up now. Gives them nothing in front. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Big stop by the keeper. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. With possession along the wall. Quick feed to Dickinson. Moves close to the point. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Just wide of the net. Slides the puck down low. Right in front, and they can't connect. Trying to escape the pressure. Baltimore's got it in the neutral zone. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Birmingham's looking to break out. 
Davis plays it into the offensive zone. From the point, they take control of it. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's an offensive chance. Up along the wing. Moves it around along the half wall. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Baltimore's got the puck along the boards. Crescenzi swinging the puck through center ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. From point blank range. The easy glove save by McDonald. the draw and he makes the save he scores jumps on the rebound and buries it uh, goalie burps up this rebound here it comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away can see just the energy on their bench. They want to go and push this into the intermission with the lead. Handles the puck. On the attack along the boards. Centering pass. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Pretty easy call to make for hooking right here. Well, he gets a stick around his waist. Then he stops skating. It's almost like he's advertising for the penalty. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. And so they'll get their first power play of the evening. At the very least, you want to make sure you get pucks to the net, win some puck battles so you retrieve the puck. You just do not want on your first power play to have a poor one because that can leak into subsequent power plays as the game goes on. And that's broken up with a stick in front. That's blocked and manages to clear the zone. Baltimore's gained possession along the boards. Sends a pass over. Here's the pass. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And he moves it up to Moore. Uses the force on that hit. Looks to set up at the point now. Comes up with the stop. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Baltimore's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Baltimore's got the lead here late in this first period. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Knocked away. Pass back to the point. Vogel's now out of the box, and we are back to even strength. Oh, man, what a good power play, but it doesn't change the big numbers up on the score clock. Couldn't score, but all kinds of chances. Well, that'll do it for an entertaining opening 20 minutes of hockey as the horn sounds. Just a lone goal is the difference so far as we conclude the first frame. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. are back at center ice and we are ready to get period number two underway. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped and we are underway. 
Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Birmingham's puck possession was pretty poor in that first period. They turned it over way too often. Pretty lucky the score's close. Now he takes it over the line. Baltimore has got a hold of it along the wall. Makes his presence known on the ice. Back to the blue line. Moves across the point. Centering pass. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Kennedy's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit, try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Are you bottom. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. Move to the middle! From the slot, fires away, turned aside by the goaltender. McDonald so sharp on this, reads the play, reads the puck, makes the save. Desperately trying to get it out of the end. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Through center along the wing. Centering pass! And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Gets it out of his own end. Slides it on over to White. Here they come on the attack. Steps into it! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Takes the feet at the back end. Takes the pass in the offensive zone. Setting up behind his own net now. The Bulls will play it from the defensive zone. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender. Baltimore has done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. He scores! They tied it up! It's a brand new game. All that work that's gone behind this, and we're back to even Steven. Oh, he tries to windmill glove save here, but there's so much traffic. I don't know that he really had a look at it. He's trying to catch it, and he missed it. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. By number 19. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. With possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Dickinson. Oh, that's true. And he's going after him here. And it's a much needed whistle for the injured player who's down on the ice. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Looks like a couple penalties coming up, one for each side here, Ray. The officials are being kind here. They could have thrown a whole whack of guys in the box after that mess, but it's just one aside. Another scoring opportunity looms here. Four-on-four four play usually starts pretty cautiously. It takes one missed pass or one missed shot, and all of a sudden there's man advantage breaks opening up all over. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Over the line they come. Puts it to the front of the net. And that skip piece scores! They take the lead! Well, it looked like this game was going to be even for the longest time because nobody seemed to have the upper hand. 
This is a terrific shot. He beats the goaltender, but the goalie gets a chunk of it. Not enough. He can't slow it up. Baltimore's hard work pays off. They've gone up by one here in this second period. Even though it really shouldn't matter, it does change the way you play the game. Now that you're in the lead, you can dictate the pace of the game. Grabbed along the board by Kunitz. Into the corner now. Moves right to the middle. Wrist shot from the slot. Way too much. Congestion blocks that. And now he tries to get it across to Moore. Rips it. That goes off a twig. Beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. Schlepko's dangerous, and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. Takes control of the puck. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. The Bulldogs continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Takes the feed at the point. Right out in front, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. They've got numbers, and that shot dies in traffic. Back at the point, they set it up. Move to the middle, press one in close. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Makes the save. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Baltimore's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Kennedy's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Quick feed down low. Laying the body. White's moving the puck through his own zone. Here's an odd man rush. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Gets the puck in deep. Baltimore's got a hold of it against the wall. Nice pass. Carries it across the line. Here they are on the attack. That goes wide. Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. Takes the feed. Lewis plays it against the boards. Slides the puck over. Glove save. Somehow got a piece of it. Stays with it. Up along the wing. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Birmingham's got control of it now from their own end. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Sends it over. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. And he's going to get two for hooking on the play, Ray. He should. I mean, he gets his stick out parallel to the ice. He gets it across the player's midsection, and that's kind of a red flag for that penalty. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed, and it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. Big hit, and the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Carries it in. Receives the pass. And the pass is picked off. Nothing. You could go games without a chance from here. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Through center along the wing. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Puts the puck on net. Stopped by the blocker. That is sweeping up the trash there. Good save. Off to the corner. Everybody can readjust. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Wow, did the ice get small for him? There's nowhere to go, and he had to absorb this huge hit. Here in the late goings of the period, we've got a 2-1 game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Hammers it on net. Nowhere for that shot to go through. And manages to clear the zone. The Bulldogs will play the puck from behind the net. Both sides back to even strength. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't... And a nasty hack on the play there. Uh, that's going to be well worth the two-minute minor. Moore's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. A 
Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Buck has dropped and we are back underway. Tries to get it out of their own end. Gets it out of his own end. Baltimore's got the puck along the wall. Moreau's gains the zone. Shot from the wall. Oh, gets a glove on it to make the stop. The Bulldogs continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. Morris won the draw. Takes the pass. Takes the shot. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Back to the point it goes. Hammers it on net. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. And the offensive onslaught will come to an end as the clock runs out, bringing the period to a close. Don't forget to check out our top 10 moments in hockey history. You can find it on our website, voted on by you, our fans. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. up tonight's game one skater short their injured player will not return thanks very much for the update ray well that certainly changes things now yes it does takes the feed from the slot wrist shot blocker save and he's showing up big time tonight certain saves are more difficult than others this one right from the slot is turned aside along the half wall with the puck Puts it on net, shuts him down. Scores! The power play delivers big time. Puck moved quickly, the players moved quickly. That's a terrific goal taking advantage of the extra man. Followed through to the net, he picks up this rebound, makes no mistake. Once the goalie leaves the puck, in front of the net. The goalie's at your mercy, and he does not miss. Baltimore's goal here early in the third has now given themselves a two-goal lead. Coaches are pretty happy with this start. You come out of the intermission leading by one, and you tell your team, get after it. Be aggressive. They were, and now they lead by two. Into the corner. Just wide. Slides it back to the blue line. And that goes off the post and out. Quick pass across to Lewis. Lewis has the puck against the half wall. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Gets in front of it. Slides the puck to Kennedy. Pushes it across to Lewis. Here's a chance. Takes a shot. Oh, puts it wide. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Handles the puck at the point. Big time stop with the glove. Baltimore has turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Scoops up the puck here. Gets it to the other point. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. And the officials signaling for hooking on the play. Got to move your feet here. You're chasing the play. As soon as you stop your feet, you're going to get called. Birmingham sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Here's their first power play of the night, James. And they can be patient on it. They want to get the good shot, not just start. And that's off the iron. Birmingham's only looking for something to go right. Get themselves back in this contest. But this hits the goalpost, and the score remains unchanged. 
Handles it along the blue line. Sends the pass over. Here's a shot wide of the net. Here's the chance to set up now. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Here comes the official's decision. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence hooking on the call. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. And with that call by the officials, it's a long five-on-three set to begin. Too many times on a long five-on-three, the power play becomes static. Get it to the middle at the very least, shoot it, and make the penalty killers react. Oh, going wide! And he was slowed up, hooking looks to be the call. The official's arm goes up in the air. Moves it to Kennedy. Handles the bank pass from along the board. Strong use of the body. And makes the save. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's gonna squeak through. Schlemko's getting two for hooking. I hated taking these penalties. It meant that I was out of position a little bit. And you have to do something in desperation. Centers glide into the face-off dot and a huge five-on-three power play looms. With such a long five-on-three power play in front of them, they can afford to be patient. Don't take the first shot, take the best shot. Gets it out of his own end. The Bulls get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes that pass back at the point. Quick pass to Davis. Right in the slot, can't finish. Oh, rain, blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And now it's over to Davis. Puck leaves the zone, forcing a mass exodus. Let's it fly. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Gogol's got the puck. Looks to set up at the point now. Knocked away. Moves the puck. Here's a short pass to McKenzie. Pass back to the point. The Bulldogs have it against the wall. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Slides the puck across. Back to the blue line. Brilliant save, read it perfectly. Another stop by the goaltender. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Here comes the call. Looks like tripping the call. Sometimes they're lazy, sometimes they're just bad luck. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Oh, here's another power play, James. They haven't been very good so far tonight. Nothing to show for their previous attempts. So now you have to get back to it, adjust, and re-attack on this man advantage. Baltimore's got the puck along the boards. Birmingham's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Kunitz moves it into the attacking end. Good hit on the play. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes the feet at the back end. Stops the rocket of a shot. Quick feed to Lewis. With some momentum driving towards the net. Denies him again. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Past the halfway mark of this period. It's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Here's an offensive chance. And a big stick save by the goaltender. And manages to clear the zone. The Bulls gain possession along the wall. Kunitz takes it across the line. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Rips it from the blue line, and that's blocked away. Both teams back to even strength. Really nice effort by the penalty killing unit on that one. It can't be much better than that from the PK. They do the job, and they're able to retain their lead. Takes the bank feed. This has been a heck of a shift for them. They've got them hemmed into the offensive zone. Now they can carry the puck around as the defenders are just going to play a tight box. They look exhausted. 
The Bulldogs continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Kennedy's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Picks up the puck in his own end. Crescenzi's got it on the offensive end. Let's it fly! Makes the save! Baltimore has been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Puts one on net, and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a grade A chance. Handles the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Birmingham's gained possession along the boards. Takes it in front. Takes the feed at the point. Great chance in front with the stop. The Bulldogs aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Puts it up front, snaps one from the slot, and that's broken up. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And a penalty is coming up as the play is whistled dead here. Just an old school tripping call here on this yeah, one, right? Sometimes I think you just get burned here, a little bit of a bad break. You're fishing around for the puck and your stick gets into the other guy's feet. Another sense of urgency for this man advantage unit as they go back to work. I like what they've done on the power play previously here, and so they really want to duplicate what they've done. They have to be aware the penalty killers will probably change approach. They have to be sharp for that. Gets it out of his own end. Baltimore has got a hold of it along the wall. Moore's carrying it ahead. Sends a pass over. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Finally, Ray. Yeah, they do get it down the ice. I thought they held their structure pretty good. They tried to clear the puck a couple times. Couldn't get it out. Now they're exhausted. Finally, they can get a change. Oh, and just gets a piece of it. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. Klotz is off to the box, hooking the call. Well, when you stop your feet, you're almost advertising to the official to keep looking. There's the hook. Power play unit going back to work. I guess you can look at this as it's okay to be patient even if you don't score till after the five on three is over. But man, even a short one like this, you have in the back of your head, you could score twice. The sense of urgency has really set in. They pulled the goalie, the extra attacker's out. Off the post! You'd think he'd be able to score that 100 out of 100. Sometimes you just miss the thing. Looks to get the puck over to Dickinson. Grabs the puck in the corner. Here's a rip! Blocked in traffic. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Towards the empty net. The Bulls will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Fires towards the empty net. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And manages to clear the zone. the other goaltender had more shots on goal and in the end even in a close game that becomes part of the difference well at some point in time you take enough opportunities you're bound to convert in theory right well that's that's basic goal. logic anyway eventually they get the puck into the net enough times to win hooray ferraro my name is james sabalski thanks so much for joining us everybody have a great night